Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. Today I have for you, I was going to say something slightly different, but that maybe isn't the right phrase, <laughs> but last year I was pretty on it with filming kit lineups. I think I did one for most of the second half of last year. And I fell about six weeks behind on spreads towards the end of 2021, but I caught up, I think either over the Christmas holidays or while I was isolating at the beginning of January. And anyway, I caught up. And that was the last I did in terms of memory planning. We're now on like the 17th or 18th of March or something like that, 17th of March. And I have not planned a single spread in my memory planner this year. My beautiful Tilly General's memory planner is just sitting there. There's a few reasons for that. Uh, the main things are to do with life is just really hard right now. A huge part of that is related to work. Another huge part of that is related to some really, really awful kind of stuff that's going on. So it's been a really, really difficult time. I have done some planning. I have two planners at the moment. I have an everyday planner, which I haven't really talked about or shown anywhere. Um, and I do use sticker kits in there. So I think that in some ways is kind of filling the planner void slightly. And I need that to kind of keep me on track through the week but I haven't done any memory spreads. I do have notes for every single memory spread though. Uh, and if any of you have ever fallen behind on memory planning and you ever think, or oh, can I catch up? You can, but really only if you have notes. There is no way I would be able to do my memory planner if I didn't have all of the notes that I have. So it's really key to stay on top of notes if you can, because then you can come back and plan when you want to. I am really hoping that I will still do my memory planner. I'm very much coming at this video. I just realised my lamp is at a really weird angle. Um, I am still very much intending to do my memory planner, hence keeping up with the notes. And hence coming at you with this video, which is my memory planner kit lineup for January, February and March. <laughs> um, I was just messaging Anna from Planner Base and I was like do should i still film this video like is anyone gonna care she was like i would watch it i was like cool well even if one person thinks it's interesting then it's still worth filming so i thought i would still film it i do also think i have been thinking about filming this video and that may also be kind of delaying me in getting started on any of the memory spreads so here we are i'm officially filming this and then i really hopefully can start planning even if it means i batch plan in april which is possibly what's going to happen because i don't think work is about to ease anytime soon so it might be i do that but anyway i really hope that you will enjoy this video uh, a couple of things i do want to apologize that my voice sounds so tired i am so tired um i have been away for work for four days i am exhausted uh but I need to stay awake because of some work stuff so I thought I would film this because it would help me stay awake um, and then also just to let you know that we are going to be looking through kits from various shops but a lot of them are from Planner Face and I do PR for Planner Face so you can use my code CAT10 to save 10% on your orders and add my name in notes to sell it to pick up my freebie I'm kind of looking around my desk and I don't think I have my freebie here uh, but you can have a look on my Instagram and you'll be able to see my freebie there so I keep all of my kits that are upcoming so I plan out my weeks in a planner face large album which <laughs> look at this album oh this video is gonna be so chaotic um but yeah so this is my kit lineup album um it's very chunky like and this is a big part of why i really need to start filming because my kits are starting to curve because you're not really supposed to fill these albums with kits quite like i do um so, <laughs> so i really really need to start getting some spreads down um but this is what i use to plan out my weeks and then i use the square boxes from anna and i cannot take kudos for this idea it was hers i'm not actually sure she does it now I think she just gave me the idea um but basically I write the month and the date on these squares because they peel off really easily because Anna's um sticker paper is removable and so I can reuse this album each year but I do have the squares I actually don't think I finished it for the year I think uh have I no it's still on 2021 towards the end of the year so I still need to finish that um you will also be able to tell that obviously I have quite a lot of kits in like this chunky bit in the middle. Um, this is because I do plan out kits in advance. So I have got like kits for when we hopefully, fingers crossed, go to Disney later in the year are already in here. And if I already have particular kits for like people's birthdays or for Christmas or for autumn, etc. I will put the kits in in advance to stop me over buying uh, which is not something I'm very good at but that is why I do it the aim is so that I kind of don't buy extra kits that I don't need hopefully that makes sense I think a lot of people do it but I'm just kind of really bad at it because I do just swap kits out so what I'm about to show you is my kits for January February and March 2022 in my memory planner these may swap like I don't want to say this is the definite 
final um list of kits but i think it's pretty close i did just go through this again and swap some stuff out because i kind of thought oh you know let's see if like a couple of things change or things like that so i have been through it so i'm kind of hoping this will be a final um kit lineup but i do change my mind sometimes when it comes to actually planning the week i'll be like eh, this kit doesn't fit i'm very particular about when i use kits very particular and so i do sometimes change stuff up so it might be that it changes but hopefully this is a pretty good indicator of what it will be so that's five minutes down before i've shown you a single kit so let's get into showing you the kits that i've got coming up so first up we have new year's week <laughs> oh i'm so behind i do double plan new year's week so i have already done it um and that is in my uh like my 2021 planner i'm not going to go through every page of these kits because obviously we've got three months of kits to get through and you don't want to be here forever uh, and also like many of you have probably used these kits already but this is the cheers art which is kittenish jess art and it is the planner face version i absolutely adore this particularly as anna did the couple boxes and so it means i can have the brunette and blonde box which looks like me and stuart so i'm really really happy to have this i'm so excited to do this spread i do actually think part of me the, another reason there's so many reasons another reason why i was a bit slow about figuring out what um the reason that i was a bit slow about getting down to actually putting down spreads is that i was wondering if i wanted to save this kit for valentine's day uh, but i've actually decided that i will just use it for new year uh, and i have a different kit in for valentine's day so which and i think i am you know finally willing to commit and say that i am happy <laughs> with this um i do uh sometimes bring in the foil already if i have a particular foil bundle i want to use but otherwise i just bring in foil as i go so i don't pre-plan that i'm not organized enough um but i do have a few bits thrown in here which are from scribble prince co so we've got these countdowns which are in j crew plans jess's handwriting also can we just say so glad that jess is back on instagram um and then this is just a freebie that says the year is yours from spc so i threw these in here in case i wanted to use them so that is for New Year's week. So next up, we have the week of the 3rd to the 9th of January. And uh, this was the week I had COVID. So, uh, well, you know, obviously I had COVID for over a week, but this was like the main week I was isolating. So I wanted to use this kit, which was the September 2021 mystery from Squirrel Prince Co. I just thought that this kit was perfect because this was, obviously I was isolating. I wasn't leaving the house. I really love how kind of at home vibes it is. We've got like the binge of the movies, the charcuterie board. I absolutely loved this art from kittenish jess and i just really wanted to use that one i think it just really summed up also our living room like we have like a gray sofa and stuff like that so i think this one really represents us um you'll see here i do have my notes from planner face i'm not going to fold these out because this works off on the other side um but this is kind of how i record my notes so these um pads are in anna's shop they have like monday to sunday they have a place where you can write like uh, your monday to sunday stuff habit tracker stuff they are so helpful if you are writing notes from memory, pl memory planner so i really 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 recommend these you can also write the kit in the foil and on the other side you can write the day of the week just such a lifesaver when you are behind on planning so absolutely recommend that they've really really helped me um and then i do have the foil bundle that came with the kit in here which is this silver like twinkle format from spc so i do have that in there i have folded over these the other way in all of the other weeks here so because there is like stuff on them that i can't share so um yeah those will be the other way around but i just wanted to show you that because i could um, but that's what i've been using to take my memory plan notes so that's the third to the ninth then we have the 10th to the 16th and this is a kit i just swapped in today which at the moment is the october 2020 mystery from scribble prince co um this i was still isolating this week but i did then uh, at the weekend go to the theatre with my mum to see Adam's family and so I thought that this kind of looks like a theatre I know it's probably supposed to be a target but it kind of looks like a shopping centre um but you know it's predominantly at home vibe so I thought this one could actually be good and I just didn't really want to use any winter kits I haven't used any winter kits really apart from one that's coming up because we haven't really had a wintry winter <laughs> uh you know global warming and all that like we had no snow in the UK it wasn't really that cold not really enough to use like really really wintry kits so I haven't used any um so yeah I did have winter kits in here and swapped them out so that's what I've gone for for now um then we have the week of the 17th to the 23rd and again this is a kit that I just swapped in here this is busy b from caress press this is a reformatted mystery from last year uh which doesn't have the yellow but i'm so sad about it but this kit is kind of a bit more of those kind of, well it's called busy bee it's you know kind of work 
um those kinds of vibes a bit working from home a bit luxe uh, i think it's a really interesting theme and i thought that this one could be good because this was the week that i returned to work after isolating uh and i really like this kit so i know a lot of people will use it in march uh but for now i'm using it in january i have a lot of other kits for march but I don't know, you know, this one could swap out. There is a place in March I could put it, but I have another kit there right now. So we'll see. But I have more spring kits than I have anything else. Um, and then the foil is the foil that it kind of goes with it, which is like a beehive foil. So that's what I've gone for currently for that week. Then we have the week of the 24th to the 30th of January. And the kit that I have in here is the Black Friday sale freebie from Planner Face. Um, so I'm starting my Valentine's spreads here in January because the following week I'm not using a Valentine's kit so I've effectively swapped these two for reasons that I will explain I absolutely love this uh it's just it's so cute I, I absolutely love how um coffee doodles drew this like floweriness I just think it's super cute so I really wanted to try and use this one because I just think it's really different I love the pink and purple vibes so that's that one then we have the 31st of January into the 6th of Feb. And this is where I can you can see that I've kind of swapped some things around. But this was the... It's now called Winter Mermaid and is in the shop. But it was originally the November 2020 mystery. I explained in a haul why I, why I have both of these. So I'm not going to go into it again. But I have used this one for this week because... Um, my bestie Emma and I went to see the ballet of the Snow Queen. And I feel like this really looks like the Snow Queen. And it's like... It's not ballet, obviously, but it reminds me of it. Uh, so I really wanted to use this one in this week. Obviously, you definitely could have used that in January just as a winter kit. But so because I'm using it here, I swapped it out with that Valentine's one because I just had so many Valentine's kits this year. Um, but yeah, so I think those two are going to stay in that order. Then we have the week of the 7th to the 13th of uh, February and I decided to use this kit from Planner Face which is Be My Valentine. It is Paris themed and we did not go to Paris uh, for Valentine's but we did like the only holiday Stuart and I have ever been on because you know we're a predominantly a pandemic couple uh, is Paris and so I really wanted to use this kit because it really reminds me of Stuart. I love that we've got like the couple handbox as well and we went on the 12th we went on a Thames cruise it was like a dinner cruise it was amazing like it was just such a good time that like, we really haven't been able to do a lot obviously like nobody has um but we've also been kind of you know there's been a lot going on so it was really nice to go and do something that was like just about us and a bit different and it's something that I've always wanted to do and I don't have any kits that kind of remind me of that but this one because it's kind of got the plane and the travel I don't know it kind of gave me those vibes so I think I want to use this one and I do have some foil pulled in here from Harriet Wright Designs I'm might use silver with this i'm not actually sure i would use gold although that's obviously gold so maybe i will but this i think matches like pretty perfectly obviously i wouldn't lay them over each other but you know the vibe is very similar to the kit so i have pulled those in for now just in case i want to use them so that is what i've gone for for the week of the 7th to the 13th because really we celebrated valentine's day on the 12th but for the week of valentine's day I've gone for Netflix and Chill from Scribble Prince Co. I didn't think I was going to use this for Valentine's Day, but on actual Valentine's Day, which was like Monday, we didn't do anything. We just hung out and chilled and it was really nice. And then again, this like it, uh, this actually looks like our old sofa, <laughs> um, but I think this really looks like our house. Um, and we, uh, Stuart was then away that weekend seeing his family and I wasn't able to go due to work so I was at home on my own that weekend like just chilling and working and stuff so I thought that this would be a really good kit because it it kind of has the at home valentine's vibes but also I was at home chilling so I thought this would be a good option I do have quite a few boxes for this kit because I sort of have like various versions of it I've got it all from D stashes and not for the shop so I have no idea how I'm going to do this because there's so many boxes like I love this bath one as well um I don't know what the uniform is from so I probably will omit that and I we don't have in and out over here um but I that does really doesn't matter to me like I like the box a lot so I have a lot of decisions to make about this one in terms of what boxes I will use but I'm really excited because I actually really really like this kit so I'm really excited to use that one then we have the week of the 21st to the 27th of February forget what month we're in now and this one is cherry lips from planner face when this art was released by Leia and Luna designs I was like Anna please please do it please do this kit um and I talked about it in my haul but 
we it was like so difficult to figure out the colors like anna and i talked about it a lot and we yeah but i do actually think the colors are so cute i'm really really in love with this kit i just want to show you the bottom washi like look <laughs> so cute and so i decided to go for this one the week after valentine's day um because i still wanted to use it but i felt like well i mean it's incredibly valentine's -y, but i wanted to use this one so it's fine i'm fine with it <laughs> i'm just doing a month of valentine's and for whatever reason i feel like this one works in this week so that one is in there then we have the week of the 28th of February into the 6th of March. And for this one, I'm using this kit, which is called Biggest Fan, which is from Scribble Prince Co. using exclusive art from Kinnish Jess. I appreciate that um, that every other person who will use this kit will be using it to mark sport. I have no interest in sport. Like, I, I like the Olympics, but this is obviously like football or baseball or whatever, basketball. Um, but I do have a lot of events i have an events based job and a lot of our events take place in stadiums and this to me really represents my busy time at work because i spend a lot of my time in football stadiums so i really wanted to use this i just think this kit is perfect to represent that so i am really really excited to finally use this kit because i bought it last year so or the year before even but you know pandemic life so really really excited to use this one then we have the week of the 7th to the 13th of march and at the moment, I'm not 100% sure which kit I'm going to use. Um, this is the week that I could use that Busy Bee kit in because March is just my busiest season at work. Um, I was away a lot of this week. So, you know, it could be that I could use a different kit. But at the moment, I have this one, uh, which is Tink, because I've seen loads of people use this one. And I really do think the spreads are so cute. So part of me really wants to use this. But I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. I'm worried because I really, really like this kit. I'm worried about using it in a week that doesn't perfectly reflect it. I'm very, very funny about using kits. So I'm not 100% sure yet. So that one is kind of in there for now. But I have also got in here this one, which is the February 2021 mystery, which is the kind of book one, because this was the first week that I filmed my reading vlog for my channel, uh, I think no my reading vlog was the week before this this was when i did my reading vlog i think is that right yeah i think so i think my reading vlog was this week okay that's interesting so maybe i won't use this one then okay this was useful thank you everyone for, for being here while i process this um but yeah so maybe i won't use this one i did really want to use this this year um but i'm again this is a kit that i really really love and i'm worried about using it not in the perfect week um but i feel like this is quite representative of my life at the moment because i watch booktube videos like all the time so i'm not sure i'll leave it in there for now but you know it might be that we use this one or something else i don't really know um then we have the week of the 14th to the 20th of march and the reason that i have decided to go for this kit um, I had a St. Patrick's kit in here. I've had this St. Patrick's kit in this place for nearly a year. Uh, and it's the Lucky kit by Squirrel Prince Co. And I was really, really looking forward to using it. Um, unfortunately, um, we lost a really good friend and their funeral is this Saturday. Um, and this, uh, it's also, this is also Hufflepuff Pride week and Hufflepuff Pride is on Sunday and one of the things that me and this friend shared massively is that we were both Hufflepuffs and because of Hufflepuff being on Sunday and her funeral being on Saturday it feels like this is the perfect kit to represent her and obviously I'm not going to go through this again <laughs> um, with her so I think this is like a way that I can honour her um, so this is the kit that I'm going to use I'm trying I didn't think I was going to get upset saying that. Okay, we're going to move on. So that's that week. Um, then we have the week of Mother's Day. I did have in here the, I don't remember what it was called. There's a kit from Tana Face that was like drawy and, and maybe it was called Dream. I can't remember. Anyway, that was the kit that I had in here. But we're going for afternoon tea for Mother's Day for my mum. And so I actually think the brunch kit from SPC is probably the one that I want to use. Um, because it has like a lot of food vibes and obviously afternoon tea is very food vibey i think there is also a mother's day add-on though i don't know if i bought it was it an add-on or was it a freebie 
I don't know. <laughs> because I wasn't planning to use it for Mother's Day. Oh well. Well, I'll see how I feel. Obviously, I'm probably going to try and plan in order. Because otherwise, I usually get the weeks wrong and I mess up my planner. So... I have a while to figure out what I'm going to do for Mother's Day week. I have so many kits that remind me of my mum, which also kind of makes me think that maybe I shouldn't use brunch because you could use that for lots of things. It doesn't have to be like about your mum. I have lots of kits that remind me of my mum. So I don't know. We'll see. This is like up in the air Mother's Day week. And then we have the final week I'm going to show in this video, which is the week of the 28th of March. And like many other people, I'm using the Bridgerton kit from SPC, which is art by Kittenish Jess. I like Bridgerton. Anna's going to laugh at me when I say this. I like Bridgerton. I am not obsessed with Bridgerton. I'm not Bridgerton's number one fan. What I am a number one fan of is Kittenish Jess. <laughs> and this art is so stunning <laughs> like these colors this like lavender willow tree thing is like one of the prettiest things i've ever seen in my entire life and i just know that this kit is going to be incredibly beautiful i mentioned it in my haul but i am gutted actually that i didn't get the um the full kit because i actually don't think i have enough of the patterns so i'm a bit sad about that but this kit i just think that jess did such a good art with, job with this art and i do like bridgerton like i bring bridgerton <sighs> Bridgerton is very bingeable <laughs> and I do actually really like it I like talking to people about it it's just like I like other shows more like what I need is a Virgin River kit I'm just gonna put that out into the universe Virgin River is one of the best things I've ever watched I would like a Virgin River kit um so you know it's like that kind of thing I would probably ultimately prefer but or Emily in Paris but I do also really like Bridgerton and I am very, very willing to have a Bridgerton week because I think this kit is going to be one of the prettiest spreads I've ever done. So very, very excited about that. That's it. Um, I managed to get through that quicker than I expected because I wasn't flicking through the pages, but I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm really hoping that filming this will mean that now I can start to like go back to actually doing some spreads. It is really daunting to be three months behind on spreads, nearly really daunting i think i'm very worked up about like how am i ever going to do this i know that i just need to do one at a time i know i have all my notes so it really doesn't matter if i am behind like i'm just following my notes i'm just doing the weeks as normal but i'm almost so out of practice that it just feels like such a big deal but i am really hoping that i will be able to get back into it i really really hope because i do miss planning and I mean, haven't even really been watching planning videos. Like, I've barely been doing anything. And obviously, this video kind of gives some indicators as to why. Um, so I'm really hoping that I will be able to get back into it. And hopefully, filming this video means I can officially do that because all of March is laid out. I do actually also have a lot of my kits in place for, like, April and May. But I'm not going to do that video now because we know stuff changes. And I do actually have several um like several things coming from stackery i also while i'm here just want to say a humongous thank you to whoever has used my stackery referral code recently because i had ten dollars in there like two weeks ago when i had my last stackery package shipped and i went on there today to do my next shipment and i had twenty dollars of credit in there so whoever is using my code thank you um it's just like so overwhelming to have your support when it comes to stackery uh and just like the fact that i'm kind of you know hopefully you found like the video Videos where I've talked about Stackery useful as to why you've used my referral code so thank you so much because it does help me to bring more content to the channel so I'm really grateful okay I'm gonna go because I've got four ulcers on my tongue and this was quite painful to film and I really need a drink because my voice hurts but thank you so much for watching this video thank you for being so patient uh, I haven't posted a lot anywhere um, I took like a couple of weeks off of instagram i haven't posted maybe anything on my grid i mostly am active on stories i've posted a couple of videos on youtube but i'm so out of it with my filming schedule because of life so thank you so much for your patience and you know sticking around and still watching stuff i'm so grateful so thank you um if you did enjoy this video i would really appreciate a like if you haven't already i would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and you can also find me over on instagram at peace.love.pam otherwise i'll see you in my next video Bye.